Hey you! Do you hate this plain, boring, old Steam theme? Do you want to have it look like something cool like this? Well, you can easily do that by going into your internet browser and then going into the URL box and then typing in steamcustomizer.com. Link will also be in the description below. And once arriving on the page, you will be seeing something like this. So as you can see, there's a couple different options you have here. You got your UI colors. Uh, this color is what will appear right there and there on the top and bottom. And then this secondary color is what would appear when you on your friends list, uh, when you're signing in, and stuff like that. Uh, the hover color is basically that color you see. Um, if I just do orange, you'll see it's the color that um, is hovering when you click on one of your games or something like that. And then you have your balance, which will show your the amount of, that you have in your Steam wallet right there next to your uh, Steam messages up at the top. And then you have the menu bar, which will show the stuff like Steam, View, Friends, Games, Help at the top of the screen right above the Store tab. And then you got your overlays, which is which allows you to have no overlay, Steam, uh, Creator Steam, Gaben, uh, PC Master Race, Black Mesa, Biohazard, and a bunch of other uh, options for your overlay. There is also coming a upload your own file for your logo, but that is not implemented yet. And you also have UI texture. Now, UI texture you can either have none, default, lines, and that just changes kind of like how it looks on the uh, UI colors. Ma mainly the primary UI colors is what gets changed on that. So, if we just uh, customize this to our little likings, and after you've created what you like, you click this big blue button that says generate style, and then you will want to click download style. And then over here, it'll of course download the style, and then it'll also say this little pop-up of where you need to install it. And then if you don't have the WMP7 or the WP7 folder, you click this right here, and it gives you this zip file. And basically, what you want to do is navigate to your Steam directory right in here, your hard drive, program files, 86 Steam, and then you want to open the .zip file. And then in this zip file, you will have the WP7 folder. Basically, what you want to do is take this WP7 folder. You actually want to go into the skins folder. You want to take this WP7 folder and drag it into that folder right in here. But I've already done so. And once you put it in here, you'll have a folder with all this stuff right in here. And then basically, this is where your theme comes into play. So you will want to take your theme. You want to put it in this folder. I'm actually going to delete this. And... Then I'm going to name this back to mod.styles. And then basically you will just want to go back into your Steam, navigate to the top left where it says Steam Settings. And then over here where it says Interface, you want to click that. And then right here in the middle where it says Select the skin you wish Steam to use, you want to click the drop down arrow for that and click WP7. Then you want to click OK and then it'll prompt you to restart Steam. Click to restart Steam. After that, you will basically just want to restart Steam. You may or may not have to log back in or not. It really depends. And then, as you can see now, we got our custom theme. Uh, it looks just like how we created it on the website. You got your overlay color or your hover color. You got the overlay up here in the top right with Gabe in. You got the UI colors I chose, the reddish pink color, and then this orange color. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's, that's basically it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!